Thirteen-year-old Arafasi walks the streets of this Ethiopian town, a scarf pulled across her face. Arafasi was born with a cleft lip that has made her an outcast. She rarely leaves her house. When she does, the other children point and laugh at her. A girl her age should be finished with eighth grade, but Arafasi has never gone to school. She has difficulty speaking and being understood. The ridicule and torment are too much to bear. When I want to play with the other kids in the village, they don't let me. They make fun of me and keep me from their games. I feel so alone. Arafasi spends most of her day behind closed doors, helping with the washing, cooking and cleaning. But often she feels like a prisoner inside her own house. She has only one dream and prayer. I pray to God that my lips will be healed. She's painfully shy. What she can't say, she sings from her heart. Arafasi's dad, Tolesa, has been in anguish over his daughter's situation. But I'm just Tyson. All I want for her is to be healed, to be normal. But that seems impossible. There are only a handful of surgeons in all of Ethiopia who are trained to repair cleft lip and cleft palate, and as many as 100,000 children who need surgery. Even if he could find a doctor, Tolesa could never afford the surgery for Arafasi. When Tolesa heard on the radio that Operation Smile was coming to Addis Ababa, he borrowed about $8, or two months' pay, to make the two-day journey. For the first time in her life, Arafasi saw other children who looked like her. And like her, 85% of them don't go to school. When I saw these other children with the same problem, I felt like I wasn't alone. Hundreds and hundreds of desperately poor families sacrificed everything to come to the Operation Smile mission site. Many will go home brokenhearted because there isn't enough time or money to operate on all of them. When she heard her name called, Arafasi was elated. And on surgery day, she was singing a new song. When it's time, Arafasi is excited to go into surgery. And so is Dad. Only 45 minutes later, surgery is over and Tolesa can see his daughter. I love my face. She is very, very beautiful. The next morning, Arafasi is alert and ready to go home. She's going to great lengths to look her absolute best, even wearing new earrings to show off her beautiful new face. After this, I want to go to school. I am beautiful now. I can't wait to show my mom how beautiful I am. This is Arafasi now. It's hard to believe that she's the same girl. She's so happy 
She's in school and surrounded by new friends. Nobody makes fun of her anymore. She told us, God bless you for all you did to change my life.